Hi guys! It's time to break free from network limitation and elevate your connectivity to a new height. Welcome to our channel Fast Cabling, where today we explore the long-range PoE technology. From powerful PoE switches that span vast distance to clever PoE extenders that amplify signals, we've got you covered on all fronts. And if you need any technology support, don't wait any longer. Visit our solution page here to get expert help and resolve your tech issues. You can click on the link down in the description box below to access to a world of solutions. PoE stands for Power Over Ethernet. It allows both power and data to be transmitted over a single Ethernet cable and eliminating the need for a separate power supply. It simplifies the installation of network devices, such as IP camera, wireless access point and IoT devices. And one of the key considerations with PoE is its transmission distance limitation. The maximum distance is about 100 meters, 328. Eight feet. So as the cable length increases, the electrical resistance of the cable causes a drop in voltage, leading to potential power delivery issue. Data signal can degrade and result in reduced network performance. To extend PoE reach beyond the standard distance limitation, PoE extender and long-range PoE switch can be used. So long-range PoE technology provides revolutionary solution for powering and transmitting data to network devices over extended distance. This technology is particularly beneficial on scenarios like outdoor civilian system, where cameras can be installed far from the power outlet, where devices are spread across expensive facility, and it reduces infrastructure costs, streamlined deployment, and enhanced flexibility for various applications, including security systems, wireless access points, smart home projects, and etc., ensuring efficiency and reliability. So each solution has its advantages. PoE extender are a cost-effective option as they can be added to existing PoE network without requiring a complete overhaul. And it can support up to one to two devices at the same time. The long-range PoE switch offer greater flexibility and control over the network, often support higher power budget, provide integrated and reliable solution. But the choice between PoE extender and long-range PoE E switch depends on the specific need of the network and the distance requirement for powering and connecting remote PoE enabled devices. So by considering the factors like PoE budget, number of ports needed, network bandwidth, PoE standard, environmental condition and power source can help you make informed decisions. PoE extenders are devices designed to extend the reach of PoE signals beyond the distance limitation. Now we work by amplifying and regenerating the PoE signal, ensuring reliable power delivery and data transmission to remote PoE power devices. And here are some of the PoE extenders, let's check them out. This one here is compatible with IEEE 802.3 AF AT and BT standard. Also supply up to 60 watts of power output maximum at 100 megabit per second data transfer rate. And you can connect to one device at a time. Next we have the two ports gigabit BT PoE extender. This one here can supply maximum of 30 watts of output power and support 90 watts BT standard PoE. And also have a 1000 megabit per second at the transfer rate and you can connect to two devices at the same time with the special mounting tool here you can mount it on a din reel to provide flexibility next we have this one, this is the metal housing 2 port 95 watts PoE extender. This one here can supply up to 60 watts output power. And all of this PoE extender are IP67 waterproof rated. So you can put them in an outdoor environment with no worries. 
So next we have the long range PoE switch. It is a specialized network switch that is capable of delivering power and data over extended distance. Unlike standard PoE switch, long range PoE switches equipped with features like extended reach PoE port to enable long range PoE deployment with minimal signal loss. And here are some of the switch. It comes in 4 port, 8 port, and even 24 port available. But keep in mind, for example, for this 4 port PoE switch, long range PoE switch, only port number 1 and 2 can support long range. Number 3 and 4 here are just ordinary PoE switch. And for this 8 port, only port number 1 to 4 can support up to 500 meters long range PoE and port number 5 to 8 can support 200 me 250 meters long range PoE at 10 megabit per second data transfer rate. And for the 24 port long range PoE switch, only port number 1 to 16 can extend signal up to 250 meters, and port number 17 and 24 can support up to 500 meters at 100 megabit per second with the PoE extender. And they can all support 30 watts of power maximum output per port. So now we're in front of the demonstration board. I'm going to use this two port PoE extender to extend for another 100 meter and connect to a wireless access point and a PDZ camera. So let's do the connection together. First, we have the router and the NVR here. We are going to connect them together so the PDZ camera can display video footage on the monitor. Next, I'm going to use another short patch cord to connect the router to this PoE switch. So the PoE switch can provide power and data to our PoE extender. Connect it with the 100 meters ethernet cable and connect with the PoE extender. Let's just plug it in here. Like this. And this one with a special mounting tool, you can easily take it out and put it back on the DIN reel. Now I'm going to connect to two ethernet cable, one for the 100 meters ethernet cable and the other one is connecting to the wireless access point. Let's mount it back on the DIN reel. Make sure everything is plugged in. You can see the wireless access point is already on. It just needs some time to run. And the other ethernet cable here is connected to 100 meters. And we are going to connect to a PDZ camera. As you can see, it's now getting power and data at the same time. It just takes a little bit of time for it to display. So I'm going to show you this is live video by waving my hand around. So the whole connection is done. For the second connection, we are going to use the long range PoE switch to demonstrate how to extend 200 meters with nothing in between, only the single ethernet cable and connect with the PDZ camera. Now let's come over here to change our PoE switch to a long range PoE switch. And let's power it up. Plug in the power cable. And use another ethernet cable here to connect the router with the NVR and also connect the router with the long range PoE switch. Next, I'm going to use a 100 ethernet cable. Remember, only port number 1 and 2 can achieve 250 meters. So I'm going to connect the 100 meters ethernet cable to another 100 ethernet cable using this coupler. So there's nothing in between, only a simple coupler. Let's come over to this side and connect with our PDZ camera. As you can see, now it's getting power and data at the same time. To use this long range PoE switch, we'll have a really clean setup since there's nothing else in between. And we are using port number one and two, so you can actually plug in another device 
Now I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. So the whole connection is done. And I'm going to do the third connection now. For the third connection, I'm going to unplug all those here. And using a PoE extender at the edge, and add a 300 meters Ethernet cable in between. So now we have the 500 meters connection. And this one is already connect here. Now I'm going to join those cable with the 300 meters Ethernet cable. Let's join this with the 100 meters CAT6. And then using another coupler, to join 300 meters with 100 meters. So let's do the calculation. 300 plus 100 and 100, we have total 500 meters. And next, I'm going to use the extender here to connect on this side. And then using and add an Ethernet cable to connect with the PTZ camera. Ta-da! Now it's getting power and data at the same time. And in between, we have 500 meters Ethernet cable. As you can see, the video footage is already displaying on the monitor. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. So the whole connection is done and I have demonstrated three different ways using PoE extender and the long range PoE switch. And here are some more additional information. First, ensure the available power budget is appropriately allocated to meet the power needs of your PoE devices. Next, consider the length and quality of Ethernet cable used in network setup. Because longer cable runs might experience signal loss, which can impact the performance of the connected devices. Last but not least, if the network deployment involves outdoor or harsh environment, you should select equipment with IP rated or rugged design to withstand dust, moisture, or extreme temperatures. And if you demand for a greater distance or high speed transfer, you can consider using the fiber optic connection. And here's some video you can watch. And thank you very much for watching us. Please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling.